Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight, in Grade 5, in Module 4, we are working on Lesson Number 6. And in Lesson Number 6, we are relating fractions as divisions to fractions of a set. So we'll take a look at some arrays today. We're basically going to use some models to help us look at division and fractions together. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one, we'll read together, find the value of each of the following, and we're going to do problem 1b. And as I look at problem 1b, I'm noticing, let's see, I'm, before even I look at the problems below, I'm going to kind of look at their diagram here. What did they, uh, what did they, how do they array everything up here? And it looks like they've got five dots, five dots, five dots. It looks like they have 20 dots, and it looks like they're divided into fourths, right? So a fourth of them is here, a fourth of them are here, a fourth here, and a fourth here. So 20 dots divided into fourths. And sure enough, when I look below, I get some questions about 20 and fourths. So let's see, how much is 1 fourth of 20? Well, if this is all of 20, then this is 1 fourth of 20. And 1 fourth of 20 looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think that's going to be 5 little dots or little diamonds. How about 2 fourths? 2 fourths of 20. Well, that would be 2 fourths of 20 would be like this much. And that would be 5, 10. I think 2 fourths of 20 would be 10. How about 3 fourths? 3 fourths looks like all of these. So that's 5, 10, 15. And 4 fourths, well, that just means all of them. So I know that that's 20. I mean, I could count them up. 5, 10, 15, 20. Or I could just figure all 4 fourths of 20 is 20. Awesome. Well, that's how we can do it if we've got those dots going. What if we had a story problem? Maybe we can make that into an array of dots. Let's give that a try. All right, we're going to use our read, draw, and write strategy with number four because it's a word problem. So let's go ahead and do the reading. Sarah just turned 18 years old. She spent four-ninths of her life living in Rochester, New York. How many years did Sarah live in Rochester? Hmm. So we've got 18 years, and then we've got this fraction of four-ninths. Now, I'm noticing something, which is that in the previous problems, we always had arrays, and so I was thinking maybe we could do an array of dots to represent uh, Sarah's 18 years. And then the question comes up, let's see, we could do different kinds of arrays, right? Um, we could do an array that was 18 dots long times just one row. We could do, let's see, what else, what other products of, let's see, six times three, right? We could do six dots and three rows. We could also do nine and two. But you know what? Of these options, I'm thinking this might be the best one because I know we're going to need to divide her life into ninths later on. So I'm thinking I want to make an array that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, right? That that's 18 years, and we've done it in an array of 9 by 2. So we've decided to go with this array. 9 by 2. And the reason is because we want to examine her life in 4 ninths. Because we can say, look, each pair of these is a ninth of her life so far, right? Sorry, that last one gets a little sloppy, right? And it looks to me like when we do that, we see that a ninth of her life is 2 years, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Sure enough, so there's 9... We've divided her life of, nine, of 18 years into nine equal slices, and each of those ninths has two years in it. And now we get to this last question, right, which is she spent four ninths of her life. Well, four ninths, let's see, that, I guess that would be that much, right? Four ninths of her life. And how many years are in four ninths of her life? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight years, it looks like Sarah spent eight years in Rochester. Eight years in Rochester. Now, I have one more thing that I might do in a question like this, which is I might look at this fraction, four-ninths, and say, you know what? That is a little less than half, right? Um, Five-tenths would be a half of a year, or four-eighths would be half of a year. And this is four-ninths, so this is a little less than half. And when I look at my diagram, sure enough, four-ninths looks like a little less than half, right? And is my answer eight years? She spent eight of her 18 years in Rochester. That's a little less than half, right? Nine years would have been half, but this is a little less than that. And so that also tells me that my answer is reasonable. And perhaps not accurate, although I think in this case we did pretty well, but definitely reasonable. Four-ninths is a little less than a half. Eight out of 18 is a little less than a half. Um, that makes sense in uh, the context of our question. 
So now that we've done the right portion, we are done with our number four, and I'm done with Mr. Kung Has Problems for the evening. So I hope that's been helpful. Good luck with the rest of your homework. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.